I'm Christina Irvine with John Green Realtor and today I want to talk to you about some of the things you can do when you've decided that where you live right now is not where you want to live forever. Too many people live in a place that they're not happy in, whether it's the home that they're living in, the city they're living in, or the state that they're living in. Nobody should live a life that they're not thrilled about every single day. To help make sure that you wake up in a place that you love every single day, I want to talk about how we make those decisions when we're thinking about relocating. Relocating can be scary. <laughs> You're leaving everything you know, your doctor, your grocery stores, your hobbies and activities, karaoke was a big one for me. Um, you're leaving everything you know behind. You're going to a new place where you now have to make new friends, maybe in a new job, depending on if you're one of those work from home people or not. Um, your pets have to readjust. So doggy daycare was a big one for me when I moved. Taking the time to really gain clarity on what that looks like is gonna do two things. Number one, it's gonna make sure that you actually feel like you have enough clarity to make the move. A lot of times what paralyzes people is the uncertainty and the lack of clarity and where they want to go. And so they end up staying somewhere that they didn't want to be. And 30 years later, they're like, why didn't I go? The second thing this is going to do is make sure that when you relocate, you do it with the right things in mind and that you feel prepared and that you step into a life that is as similar to yours right now as you want it to be. And is a pretty easy transition for you and your whole family, your, your significant other, your kids, your dogs, your parents, like whoever it is that's making this move with you. The first thing is going to be in gaining clarity. And the way to do that is through a series of essentially journal prompts. Ask, make sure to ask for my relocation journal prompts um, to get you started in this process. If you're thinking about moving and whether you think you know where or you don't, it's really, really important that we go through all of those things together. Step one is going to be to write down all the things that are important to you where you live, your grocery store, why you love that grocery store, your um, kid's school, if you have kids, and why that school is valuable to you. Because obviously they're going to be changing schools, but just because they're changing doesn't mean you can't have the things that are really important to you in the school that you're in. Um, what you like to spend your free time doing. Karaoke was a really, really big one for me. And so being able to um, find karaoke close by where I live, which I'll tell you a funny story, I was choosing between two different areas, um, one of them, and I just, karaoke wasn't something I thought about at the time at all because I didn't do what I've now learned and get to share with you at the time that I picked my current home. And I love my home, I love my neighborhood, I love everything about it, but I thought through things like where my chiropractor was and not being able, you know, not having to change chiropractors because I really love the relationship I have there and the progress that I made. The doggies, daycare, their vet daycare, um, grooming, like all of that is one place for them. And it was really important to me that that was close enough that I was willing to take them to the same place because it's consistent for them and they're comfortable there. Especially my, my big guy, he does not like to be away from me. So if he's going to be away from me, it matters that he's going somewhere that he's the most comfortable he can be. How far I was from my office mattered. How far I was from a grocery store. The fact that I had some space and I didn't feel like I was dead in the middle of the busy stuff because that's not what I liked when I lived in the south suburbs. I moved out here because I actually liked that things are just a little bit slower and more spaced out. Where your healthcare providers are, what kind of healthcare providers you need, where those are available um, to the capacity that you need them. Any extracurricular things you like to do. If you were somebody who's big on networking groups, looking into what kind of networking groups are available where you're at. If you were somebody who really loves to go to the zoo, seeing how far you are from the zoo, seeing how far you would be from a beach if that's something you love. Take a look and really list out all the things that you and your whole family value and let's put together a plan for you to try to create as many of those things as possible. And at the end of the day, no different than buying a home, you're never going to find a 10 out of 10. But if you've genuinely listed out all of your priorities and the priorities of those that are coming with you, then what you get to do is decide which ones are worth the sacrifice or which one is most important to be closest to. One of the places I always thought would be the most fun place to live is North Carolina because I could be right between the mountains and the ocean. To me, what else is better? It's warmer than where I'm at. <laughs> like, uh, to me, that sounds like the perfect place, but I'll tell you one thing before I do it, I would need to list out all those things that matter to me. Line dancing, karaoke, where my dogs are going to go when I'm not around, my healthcare <laughs> providers and what's available to me. And so make sure to gain immense clarity on all of the things that are important to you and what you would want in your area when you make that move. Budget is another one that's really important. So for instance, um, I was dating someone recently that we had planned that we were going to be together long-term. And if we were, we were going to be uh, moving to a cabin in the mountains was the plan. And so I had always thought North Carolina, 
he had always thought Colorado. Both of those were, were okay with either one of us um, because realistically you could travel where you wanted to be to be closer to the ocean if you needed to. I think he was more so okay with going to North Carolina and making that sacrifice than I was with Colorado because he didn't have as much of a reason other than the beautiful views and the cabin in the mountain was what was important to him. And so in making that decision though, another thing that played a role was the price for, for what we wanted. So the ones in the areas of Colorado that met our needs in other ways were twice the price of what I own now versus what was in North Carolina in the places that we were considering that met, that met our needs in all the other ways was very similar comparably to what I own now. And that to me made the most, the most sense. And so while money is not gonna be the most important thing, um, getting all your needs met is, and you can adjust the budget accordingly and you can figure out how to create what you need to, to do those things, it, it does play a big role in where you're going to live. And it plays a big role in when you can move there. And it plays a big role in re really just the whole thing. Um, and so being clear on what your budget is and if it's comparable to what you want now or not. Another big part of relocating is going to be downsizing and decluttering. You're gonna to have to do it to list your current home anyway. Um, but when you think about moving, like what do you wanna move with you that far? What is the cost of moving all of those things? Do you have a reliable mover in mind that does that, that can move you from here to wherever? And so I have a referral for you. If you need one, just make sure to inbox me. I'd be happy to share them. That's who I use every time I move and I can't imagine using anybody else. Um, but even if you have somebody else that you know you would use, just make sure that you have an understanding of what the cost of that move is and what that looks like as far as on the other side. Do you have a realtor in both places? Obviously here, I hope that I'm the one you're gonna call, but even if I'm not, I'm sure you have somebody that you can call. Perfect, give them a call, but I'm sure that your realtor, and if not me, I have access to realtors all over the country who are trained just like I am. And then I call and interview them and make sure that they have a similar personality to me. Because if you like me and you like working with me, I want you to like working with them. I want them to be somebody who's fun for you to be with because this is an important process for you. This is something I want you to remember forever and I don't want it to be a personality clash that's gonna be the thing that you remember from it. So, and again, really important, I talk about this all the time. If you're working with a realtor, it's really important that you trust them. And it's really important that you're okay with leaning into their processes and a personality clash may cause some lack of trust, but even if it isn't lack of trust, it's definitely gonna cause some friction in the way things are done. And if you guys aren't on the same page, it's really difficult for you to create the best result. So at the end of the day, you should not work with a realtor who you don't feel like is a friend to you. The next thing that's going to be really important to you is going to be connecting with the community in a new area. Making a move is a lot easier when it feels a little more certain. So one, when we gain clarity and we found all the things that work for us in that area so that we know that when we get there, we're not gonna feel stressed or untaken care of, maybe making friends before you go is really helpful or just knowing what else is available. Hopping in community groups, and this could be even before you have decided that you are 100% sure that you're going where you're going, it is absolutely critical that you think of neighborhood groups in that area, maybe karaoke in Raleigh, North Carolina, or line dancing in Raleigh, North Carolina, Great Danes in North Carolina, the things that I love in the area that I think I want to go to and hop in groups in that area and see what else shows up. It may provoke new questions for you. It may provoke new clarity for you. It may provoke a million different things, but what it's also gonna do is give you the opportunity to start to feel at home in this new place long before you go there. And it's gonna help make sure that you're not one of those people who ends up saying you wanna go and never doing it. Finally, once you've decided where you wanna go or at least have a pretty good idea and you might be ready to start viewing homes, it's important that you pick the realtor that you wanna work with. You should have a realtor in bulk location Locations. Obviously here in Northern Illinois, I hope that I'm the girl you're gonna call, but if you don't call your realtor, that's totally okay. Um, but your realtor or me will have somebody in the other area, wherever you're headed to, that will be trained just like I am. I have access to realtors across the entire United States. Anywhere you wanted to go, I can find you somebody who's trained just like me. More importantly, I then interview them. I want their personality to be like mine. Because if you like me and you like working with me, I 100% want you to work with somebody just like me. Thank you.